first experience was riding uh, this tube they call it the underground, the subway. They call it the tube. 26 heavy contact departure on 2 0 time. All the interesting points of interest, right? So, hey guys, good morning. I'm out. First thing is, I need to send this out to Eric. That's his uh, entry tickets to the raffle, to the tour pack raffle, which you do not see over here because it's indoors. I'm leaving. I'm going out for a ride with John. Going to tell you all about my beautiful, beautiful trip, a week long trip with my daughter to England. Let's uh, do a last, last cold start before I get the the stage two. Ready? As always, let me give you a cold start from Mad Max over here. Righteous, righteous cold start. <laughs> righteous cold start. Um, from next week, guys, you're gonna get your. Awesome cold starts from uh, Grey Ghost over here with the new exhaust and the cam. Come on, start it up. I'm waiting over here. Come on. My tape is rolling. Ready? Because you want to film that, don't you? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. That initial bark. That. You know, it's it's the initial bark oh. when it hits. And, and on a highway. Yeah, I know. Yeah. You, you already showed everybody. Yeah, it's a Sawiki. 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 Uh, I've seen it on Blockhead's video, right. and it looked wicked. It right. sounded great as well. It looks awesome. Yeah. Uh, now he's saying something good about me. <laughs> Can't hear a word. You got over 10,000 subs. 11 and a half. Yeah. <laughs> These gloves, the heated gloves, obviously, even not heated, all the gloves, they're bulky. You can never get your phone when you need to use it. So I just got a little, got the 10 of these for $2 on Amazon. And it's, it's, I just put a little Velcro on it. The gloves don't work? Yeah. No, gloves don't work. What's nice about that pipe that John has, uh, the Chromeworks, it's a, it's got a bark. It's got a really loud bark to it, a snap. Ah, uh, it's a school zone. Whenever I put the fob over here on the handlebar, uh, back I every once in a while I get no fob it's as if the fob is not close enough to the sensor do you happen to does anybody know let me know down by the comments where the actual sensor is on the bike is it underneath the seat is it in the front I have no clue if you do know your tech or you just know just let me know please yeah fill up yep so we're all fueled up and we're gonna head over to a nice little I think we're going to Ring Greenwood Lake. It's not too far from us. It's uh, really a uh, see a really nice scenery. It's like a little town or village on a lake, on a beautiful lake, on Greenwood Lake, uh, obviously. You hear? Listen to the.
as I was starting to say before, I took my daughter, 16 year old a lot. Where do you want me, man? You want me first or you want me over here? Okay, you want me to lead, I'll lead. Took my 60 year old daughter for the first time, her first time ever to England. Now, you know, fortunately with my job, I get uh, really discounted tickets for my family and I get to fly to a lot of destinations where I can take my family with me. So, you know, I have four kids, God bless, you know, and each and every one of them was with me like in different destinations. Sometimes we work together as a family, but she being the youngest one, that was, there were actually, we just realized that she's never, she said, I've never been to, to London. He wants me one line. Okay, that's what you want. Okay, you'll get one line. So Abba, she calls me Abba, yeah? That's uh, dad in, he in Hebrew. I've never been to London. So I got a, I got organized uh, throughout. He's going nowhere. So it's like, uh, okay, I'll get a flight for you and me to be in uh, London for uh, overnight or maybe two. So I was able to get in the schedule a nice, a nice flight to London.
That was our bird. What do you do with a 16 year old uh, that goes uh, for the first time to a certain destination? Obviously I, you know, being in so many places, love, you know, just like to go and just chill and just live the place. Just feel the people, feel the vibe, feel the atmosphere, the, the scenery. It's not, not uh, like running around and touching and check marking all the must see, must do places. But what can you do? You know, where, when you're with uh, somebody for the first time in a in a new destination, definitely you need to you need to check to check mark uh, all the interesting points of interest, right? So I was like on a <laughs> on a journey with her. We got a list ready, and we did all the fun stuff. We went to first experience was riding uh, this tube they call the underground, the subway. They call it the tube. Just, you know, just feeling the the people, how the way they speak, their their accent, their their behavior, the way they dress, and and it was just so much fun. From there, we we literally went to Big Ben. Big Ben is a well-known spot, and it's just by the Parliament House. So we're at London. We just got out of the underground. It's raining. This is Parliament right here. This whole complex is the Parliament House. After the Parliament and the uh, Big Ben, we just walked the streets of London. Anyone need an Uber? <laughs> we walked on the Thames. Uh, you know, just walked around and, and pretty much got lost. A little sushi, in sushi sandwich. <laughs> Chai masala. I think it's once a week. I have a feeling it's uh, Chinatown over here. Not sure why. But yeah, 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 yeah. It is. Yeah, it is. But you know, always you can just take a taxi, a cab, and just get back to the hotel. So it's just fun to walk around. We went to uh, Buckingham Palace to see uh, the guards, to see, you know, the queen and, I mean, the king. Obviously, you don't see the king, but you see where, uh, where the palace is. So that was a fun experience. Oh, it's working. Oh, nice. He says the uh, traction control is now working properly. We were also going to go to uh, the wax museum. It's called Madame Tussauds. I think that's the first, the first uh, wax museum. And uh, we went, uh, we went there. We drove, we drove uh, the double decker, famous London uh, bus. That was, that was fun.
Yeah. Drive the bus, hey, that's, come on. I'm on the wrong side. <laughs> Obviously, we couldn't get in because you need to <laughs> reserve and book in advance, you know, uh, tickets for uh, the, the wax museum. But it was a nice experience. We went to Soho. Soho is a very uh, art, arty farty part of London. Very pretty, very young, very vibrant. It was lots of fun. We had a great lunch over there. Camden Market. Good, right? No, but it's cool. to the streets of London went uh, so and we went to Soho Soho was so nice my daughter really loved it it's it's very young it's very you know it's pretty the structures the buildings over there are really nice the uh, the people that was fun we had lunch over there and all in all it was it was just a great time uh, and I spent with her quality time you know father and daughter it was really really good oh look at that His cam, John's, John's 360 camera stopped working as well. Mine has been giving me trouble lately. Look how nice it is over here. It's blooming, it's spring, and the trees are starting to get their nice color their leaves look at the trees over there they're underwater welcome to West Milford all you need is one slow car or truck on a single lane road and you're stuck like this Amazon truck. What do you guys say about what part of the lane should you use? Like, I don't know, for the longest time, since I was a kid and I was riding uh, motorcycles and the cars were old and dripping oil, I was told at the time as a, as a cyclist, at a motor, as a motorcycle rider, never ride in the middle because there's always more chances of oil spills in the middle and that's where you uh, can slip and skid or whatever, you know, lose balance. Oh, there it is. Here is Greenwood Lake or Ringwood Lake. God, I forgot which one. I think I'm right and it's Greenwood Lake. Well, this is the place. It's beautiful during the summer. Remember what I was asking? I was talking about what uh, what part of the lane do you take? I never go in the middle. I don't know. Is it is it old fashioned? Is it stupid? I know. I either take the left side, the left side. Uh, let's the left side. Okay, the the third quarter over here, or on the, this quarter of the lane you, you see what I'm you see what I mean this is a nice area at the tip of Greenwood Lake we're gonna stop at this uh, nice little restaurant that we had here that we had stopped here before that was really good overlooks 
overlooks the lake. Here it is, I think this is the place, yeah. Greenland Point Restaurant Marina. Right here. Oh yeah, it was great. Oh my God, John is such a gangster. Get off, it's private. I didn't see. He's such a gangster. That's so cool over here, actually. We had, uh, we ate once over here at that restaurant. Apparently it's closed now. I guess it's not seasoned yet. Emerald Point Restaurant, Greenwood Lake, and it was really good. Anyway, guys, uh, let me show you around and then uh, I'll end this video. This is the northern part of Greenwood Lake, facing southbound. Look at the colors. Look, look what it, uh, look how quiet and beautiful it is. Oh, there's a swan over there. I'll show you in a second. That's it guys, hope you enjoyed this one. Sure, of course, with, with my heated gear. Uh, hope you enjoyed this one guys, my trip with my, my daughter. If you wanna watch my next video, it's gonna be, I'm gonna start filming it on the way back and it's uh, my trip a week after I was with my daughter, I went for my uh, flight simulator training in Amsterdam. I spent some time over there and I'm gonna have footage of that as well. So keep on watching. On the next video it's my trip to Amsterdam uh, that's it for this video guys hope you enjoyed this I'm Sandy you're watching holy shift till the next video guys peace out